What's up, y'all? It's Henry from the PSI Defense Channel. I'm out here in Ohio. I see my breath. It's out here freezing. Coming to you with a real-life scenario video. So this is my delivery vehicle. As you can see, it's cold out here. It's about just under 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative, negative 11 degrees Celsius. All right. The reason I'm out here, this is my truck gun. Good old FSC build with an Aurora front end. Got a first strike tank on the back. Comrie Tech on off switch. Sterling Self Defense hooked me up with a Trigicon RMR on here. Got a top riser plate, O light, a couple rounds of a couple rounds of jewels. And what I want to know is this has been in my truck for the better part of four months, maybe, maybe five months without getting shot. And now that it's frozen, how will it perform at 10 degrees? Well, let's take it inside to the dirty garage and find out. All right, guys, here we are at the range. Like I said, I've got my FSC build, Trigicon RMR. It's actually got a Lapco nine inch barrel inside of there with uh, the birdcage flash hider, um, Olight Balder S, green dot tack light, 13 CI first strike tank with an MCS butt stock. And I've got eight round mags. Um, I love this, it's, it usually shoots around 50 joules. Um, I have, like I said, I haven't shot in about four or five months, uh, but testing this out. So if any of you guys have truck guns, you can see if it's freezing outside, is your um, air launcher going to uh, perform properly for you? I have no idea. So this is a live real world test. Um, as you guys know, the First Strike FSC is a very versatile platform. It's probably one of the most popular platforms now because it's probably the most market available uh, blow forward um, launcher that we use for less lethal. It's like I said, it's uh, readily available on the market in a lot of different color schemes. Um, it's highly modifiable. You can just get the First Strike ASA block or if you have an ASA adapter off of a T9.1 then you can just go for that. Um, you know, can have multiple configurations all the way out to a rifle to a uh, CQB style carbine like I have here with the uh, Grimberg front end. Many companies uh, make a really nice front end that holds mags. Some of them don't hold mags. Um, I know Comrie Tech has a great uh, carbine kit. I know uh, Sterling Self Defense, he, he prints several different iterations of a front end. Uh, there's quite a bit of options you can get. Um, I like the SLS printed Grimberg model. Very expensive, but um, very high quality, very strong, durable. Uh, there's a lot of options out there. But uh, without further ado, I'm not going to prolong the video for um, fluff's sake. What I will do is go ahead and see if this fires. To be honest with you, I'm a little nervous because it is cold. It's 12 degrees outside. And uh, let's see what it does. Okay. Just gonna twist my knob forward. Okay, there's a click. It's aired up. Doesn't sound like it's leaking. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, that was loud. It looks like it shot two of them. So that was 191, but let's see what we got here. 364, let me find out. 364, that was pretty good. I have eight in here. Two, one, two, four, five, six. No, I just shot two, okay. The first shot was, seemed like it was very, uh, very low powered. 
Second shot seemed pretty good. I'm gonna load this full mag here. Let me go ahead and back up so that it doesn't bounce out of the trap like that. My Kevlar is really cold, so. 364. 356. 356. 356. 360. That might be it. 358. Let's see. I don't want to dry fire, so let me make sure. Yep. And that's it. All right, so truck gun, FSC, HPA. Um, my bottle, my bottle held without refilling it. Of course, I've got to take it back in and refill it now. I was at three thousand at that uh, eight shots took a thousand psi. So um, you probably get twenty four or so high powered shots at that velocity. Uh, I've got eight gram. Grimberg Jewels in here, V2s, Lab Covero, really great results. Uh, since I got it here, I'm going to go ahead and take it inside, let me let it warm up. I'm going to lube it, clean it, give it some TLC and love, and then fill it back up, throw it back in the van because, um, as you can see, as the test results show, um, cold did not affect the performance too much. That first shot was under 200, which was strange, but uh, still, it seemed like two flew out and yeah look oh yeah i do keep an extra one in the breach so two had to have shot out because it cracked this jewel here cracked it in half so usually when you do shoot two projectiles in the first shot you get some uh strange off readings because it, it kicked hard it shot loud, so I have no reason to, to believe that it was anything less than what the other shots were. It felt exactly the same. But um, there you go. In the cold, your truck gun should be all right if you keep it properly maintained, properly lubricated, properly cleaned. It should not give you any issues. But I do recommend maybe before winter, maybe a good strip down, a good cleaning, because it's going to be out in your vehicle. Uh, make sure you always check the tank pressure. The way I have it sitting in the truck, I have it under there where I can just take you. See, I had that towel under there because if you get pulled over, the police are going to look into your vehicle and try to see if they see anything, which is their job. If they see this butt stock, they may assume that I have an assault rifle in the car and they'll be on heightened alert. There's no need to uh, make their job any worse than it already is. So I keep that towel there, but it allows me to check the gauge very easily by just pulling it back. Okay, I've got plenty of air. I'm not losing air. Okay, I'm good to go. Boom. Um, yeah, wonderful truck gun. Compact, two mags on deck. Um, there's a guy on Facebook that he's working on doing a butt stock with a third mag that you can put there. Probably looks like it would be a little bit more balanced. This mag was about right here, maybe. Made it a full butt stock with the mag here. Also easier to grab forward of your chest so anybody out there looking to do that it's probably the best bet right there boom slap it in good to go but for now two rep two mags of the Grimbergs on deck for my Aurora build love it all right guys so that's it for this video this is Henry signing out make sure you take care of yourselves take care of each other and be safe guys peace out